Ma tufanye dueling. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Now, heavy rains have compounded the challenges of residents of Baringo County who have been hit hard by malaria outbreak, especially in Tiati constituency. The situation for the patients has been worsened by floods that cut off some of the main roads, and now many of the sick are at home helpless, with only a few of them accessing health care at temporary private clinics. Ken Gashuhi reports on their plight. <laughs> We arrive in Kapau village, Tiati constituency, one of malaria hotspots in Baringo County. And here we find women and their children taking cover under these trees from which their intravenous drip setups hang as they receive treatment for malaria. Among the patients are Chapocha Som Karita and her co-wife Chapochot Karita alongside their children all under one year. <laughs> Although the condition of this private clinic operated by pharmaceutical technologist Abraham Arektum may not meet typical expectations, this is the best they can get for now. The problem is malaria na pneumonia. The malaria outbreak has been mainly caused by the recent rains, the nomadic way of life for the local community exposing them even more. And that is why we have used a lot of uh, social behavior change in those areas as an intervention uh, to protect and prevent themselves from bitten uh, by mosquitoes. From Kapao, we head to Kongora, a distance of 40 kilometers. That is the area which has been hit the most by the current malaria outbreak. Unfortunately, we find that this road has been cut off by the ongoing heavy rains, making the situation even worse for patients seeking medical services. The county government health department indicates that over 40% of the Congo population has tested positive of malaria. Costly ambulance services continue to keep many patients at home. It is ambulance the residents have appealed for inclusion in the ongoing exercise of distributing mosquito nets. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News.